Hello, my name is Dade Lunsford, and I'm here with my colleague uh, and friend, uh, Dr. Kustis Hadjipanayas. And uh, I am uh, uh, the Center for Image Guided Neurosurgery um, Director at this time, uh, but I am particularly pleased that uh, we've been able to successfully recruit uh, uh, Dr. Hadjipanayas to come to Pittsburgh, where he originally trained for neurosurgery and to take over my position as the director of the, this center. So Kostas, welcome to Pittsburgh again. Thank it's you. It's a pleasure Thank that you. you're back. Uh, Dr. Hadjipanayas will also serve as the co-director of the Hellman UPMC Cancer Institute Brain Tumor Program. And uh, that will be a facet of his responsibilities uh, which uh, will expand uh, uh, our uh, relationship with that very active uh, program at uh, the Hillman Cancer Institute. I'm going to take a couple of minutes to sort of go back in time to when this got started. I also did my training here at the University of uh, Pittsburgh and uh, at uh, the time that I uh, finished my training I did a fellowship abroad at the Carolins Institute and then came back to Pittsburgh in 1981. And at that time, we formed this Center for Image Guided Neurosurgery because the focus was trying to uh, bring in uh, newly uh, developing medical imaging, at that time CT scan and subsequently MRI imaging, into the operating room environment. And we did that with an interface of using guiding technologies, which allowed us to do this uh, safely and very, very uh, precisely. Over the years, uh, the next uh, focus of our interest was developing uh, the field of stereotactic radiosurgery using the Lexel gamma knife. And we put in the first gamma knife in 1987. And since that time, we have now uh, uh, done almost 18,000 patients. Part of our goal with technology development was to be able to not just do procedures, but to actually establish merit. That is, that what we were doing made sense, improved patients' outcomes, was cost effective, and could be a, um, a source of uh, both uh, teaching and research uh, for our uh, department. Uh, it was during that time that Dr. Uh, Haji Panayas was a, a, a trainee, a resident, he then went on to get his uh, PhD by spending some extra time in Pittsburgh. Uh, he then took a faculty position at uh, uh, Emory University from there uh, to uh, Mount Sinai in, in New York. And uh, it is from there that we have successfully recruited him to return back to Pittsburgh. And now I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about what his plans are for the future of the center and uh, where it's all going to fit. Thank you, Dr. Lunsford. I, I'm so thrilled to be back uh, at the University of Pittsburgh. This is a huge honor, obviously, to be able to work side by side with my mentor and uh, longtime friend and colleague, Dr. Lunsford. You know, I think the, the Center for Image Guided Neurosurgery at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center really represents the best of the health center in terms of innovation, translation of important technology to our patients so that as Dr. Lunsford mentioned, the outcomes of our patients are changed. And that's what every physician wants to do. And I'm just so happy to be part of that and to continue to build on the legacy of Dr. Dade Lunsford and the team that he's established here and working side by side with Dr. A.J. Naranjan uh, and, the, and the group here. And, and we, we have a lot we're gonna continue to do. Uh, obviously, we're gonna build on what's been done here. and. One of the things I'd like to incorporate is how we can interact with our Hillman Cancer Center better and develop uh, relationships and, and help with treatment of patients and also translation of new technologies uh, with clinical trials and other types of uh, intraoperative imaging. And my background that includes stereotactic radiosurgery for my days here at Pittsburgh with Dr. Lunsford also incorporate image-guided neurosurgery in the OR with fluorescence-guided surgery and, and soon to be other types of intraoperative therapy. So this all kind of goes hand in hand for our patients and, and I'm just thrilled again to be part of this at the University of Pittsburgh and come back home where it all started for me. I, I've been to several institutions now and I will tell you firsthand that 
I don't think the, that, that anyone comes close to the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, the Center for Image Guided Neurosurgery, and the Department of Neurosurgery in terms of technology development, training, uh, and just proliferation and contribution to our field in neurosurgery. So uh, thank you very much, and I'm really looking forward to uh, working together and, uh, you know, keeping things uh, moving upward and onward. So as part of what Dr. Hajibanais brings is one um, enviable attribute, which I was never quite good at, and that is uh, he is a funded investigator um, and currently has funding from the National Institutes of Health. Uh, and uh, a, a focus and subspecialty interest uh, in the management of very difficult brain tumors, especially primary brain tumors uh, such as malignant gliomas. Can you tell me a little bit about what, what are your plans with this research focus? Yeah, so we have a very active lab which will be based at the Hillman Cancer Center. Uh, and as part of the, the newly established UPMC Brain Tumor Center at the Hillman Cancer Center. And, our focus is really on how we can target these types of tumors better. And one theme that we've kind of been working on for the last uh, several years and is funded by the government is using magnetic nanotechnology to target these tumors and, and um, use that alongside with other types of therapies such as, um, you know, stereotactic radiosurgery, radiation therapy, and chemotherapy. So, so that's something that we're really um, actively working on with Johns Hopkins, who's one of our partners in crime, as well, as well as Penn State. And we're really marching forward towards human studies. Uh, right now, we're about to initiate a canine glioma study where dogs who develop brain tumors spontaneously will undergo the treatments that we're developing. So we're really excited about that, and, and hopefully one day we'll be able to provide that to our patients. But we also have some other types of treatments, too, that we're developing in the OR such as uh, intraoperative photodynamic therapy with our partners uh, uh, in, in France, uh, that we will soon be opening up a study here at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center next year. So stay tuned for that. Uh, that'll be an exciting study that uh, we'll offer our patients um, as well. So one of the things that we began and you were part of when you were here and now will become a major part of it now that you're back is the emphasis on uh, outcomes research um, and that's been in part based on our clinical experience which approaches now 18,000 uh, patients. We have published as you know um, uh, somewhere in the range of uh, 1,500 articles, book chapters or uh, abstracts at various scientific meetings which have helped to uh, uh, continue to build and grow uh, what we do. Um, especially related to the use of, uh, of uh, radio surgery. Do you see that kind of emphasis continuing? Yes, absolutely. We have to. So there's no question that we're going to be really focusing on continuing to be leaders uh, in publishing papers on the use of the gamma knife, stereotactic radio surgery. And one area that I see as an opportunity is com combination therapies of radio surgery. And you know, I think some of my background will help us in that regard in terms of clinical trials, uh, really looking at some novel treatments with immunotherapy and, and really also focusing on how we can get some cooperative type studies on board uh, and build upon what the team here has done. I think that's very important to publish uh, patient outcome studies. Uh, these, this is what sets uh, the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center and the Center for Image Guided Neurosurgery apart from pr probably every other center in the world is the impact and magnitude of those types of uh, outcome studies that have been published. And I think one of the other things that I know will continue is the educational focus for not only for our residents, our trainees, for fellows who come to spend time with us, but also, uh, as you know, uh, you will be part of the uh, every two month clinical courses that yeah. we do related to uh, uh, gamma knife. Uh, gamma knife is uh, still evolving technology, and we're hoped to be uh, evolving into the next generation of this device uh, in the uh, in the near future. So, um, anyway, thanks for uh, Thank uh, making the transition. It's a turbulent time for you and your family, <laughs> uh, but I think it'll be a great event for us and uh, hopefully for them as uh, well. 
and we're very excited about uh, this uh, transition and now the opportunity to work with you uh, um, again uh, this time as uh, as colleagues uh, not just mentor uh, yes, trainees yes. so um, thank you all for thank pay, you. for this and we uh, look forward to um, continuing our work uh, with patients